Hi guys, today we are going to do something new, which is something we do in the classroom, but we haven't done at home yet, which is our handwriting without tears curriculum, which we do in the classroom, and we practice doing it with the roll of dough. We practice our number of the week, and we practice our letter of the week. So today we're going to do that like this, but you guys don't have the same materials that I do, which is the roll of dough and the template to put the cards on. So what you guys can do at home is if you have something like um, Play-Doh at home, just like I have here, or if you have some other type of dough that will work, even if you have yarn, popsicle sticks, something, popsicle sticks, anything you can use to trace this. And even if you want to get unique and creative, you could just use your finger. But And you can watch me use the Play-Doh. But if you do have Play-Doh at home, then feel free to do it along with me. And you can draw an 8 or a Y on a piece of paper or uh, anywhere you want. And you can trace it by putting out Play-Doh or yarn or string, popsicle sticks, anything you want to trace the number. But Play-Doh is definitely very fun to use and it practices our, practices our fine motor skills right in our fingers. So let's start with our number of the week, which is number eight. And remember we follow the arrow. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to put it right here. And let's see if this is eight. Let's count the bugs on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight, okay? So let's get our Play-Doh. So we're gonna get our Play-Doh. And this is where it gets a little tricky, right? Because we have to roll it out. And sometimes in class we use a roller, sometimes we use our hands. And we get the roller. And we roll it out like this. And what we can do is we can start it right where it says to start. So let's start the arrow like this. We're almost there, right? And this is kind of how you guys can draw it. You guys can draw it in this swiggly way. Or like I said in the other video, you can draw it two circles on top of each other like a snowman, right? So you can do it that way. I do it this way because this is my preferred way of writing an 8, but you guys can write it however you feel comfortable doing it, and if it's an easier way to just make two circles while doing the Play-Doh, feel free to do that. So, we're following this, following the template, and we need to make the top touch, right? So now we have created the number eight with our Play-Doh on top of the template. How cool is that? So that is our number of the week, eight. So we take it off and we see eight, right? Eight. Let's put that aside. Now let's do our letter of the week, which is letter Y. So let's do letter Y. So you see Y is for yarn. So let's get our Play-Doh. And we have a lot more of it down here. So if you don't have a lot, you can roll it. Remember, if you don't, if you have a little bit of Play-Doh, you can roll it to thin it out, which gives you more from less, right? So let's get this. We'll rip it in half. We keep thinning it out, right? You roll it, and then you can stretch it. Remember, if you stretch it, sometimes it might rip. See? Uh-oh. So we're going to roll it out. And we're going to... Place it on the letter Y, and then we have to put that, right? Let's make this a little bit smaller, just like this. Y. Cool, right? Now we have the letter Y from our handwriting without tears, and we use Play-Doh. So cool, right? So we have letter Y. And we have number eight. And we made those all by ourselves, right? With the help of our handwriting without tears. And you guys can completely create this own, um, this curriculum at your house using Play-Doh, yarn, and any type of template. If you have an Etch-a-Sketch or if you even have, even on your kitchen table, anything you guys have. And if you guys want to play with a homemade Play-Doh, you can create one which is homemade which would be with white rice flour, cornstarch, salt, cream of tartar, vegetable oil, and water. Now, I know not all of you have the resources, but if you do want to create your own home Play-Doh, then you can use those materials 
and create something to roll just like what I made. Bye guys!